So first off, Hector, um, I know that you changed your camps. You're training up in Sweden, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, just the decision to go there and how did camp go? Uh, I was training with uh, Sama over in, uh, in Florida, because he lives in Florida. So uh, it was like a good, good decision to make to yeah. keep going and finish the camp with him. Yeah, and how was the experience there? It was great. Uh, I love Sweden. The country's beautiful. Super nice people, and uh, I got I got a good training. You know, I'm 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 pissed that I that I that I couldn't stay longer. You know, yeah. only for weeks, but uh, it was good enough. You know. Awesome. Who are your main uh, training partners up there? I had a leader. I had um, Gustafson. I had uh, Jimmy now. I mean the whole the whole team, you know, the whole team uh, stopped and had me, and it was a great experience, you know. Like the whole the whole the whole gym was willing to have me work for whatever I needed. So, and you mentioned Jimmy, and obviously he just had to pull out, and yeah, it was a yeah. bit of. A I was kind of like uh, PZ. Uh, damn, shit, it's bad luck. Were you already here? Uh, I was. I was. I I got I got here and the next day. And then uh, he told me, like, man, I cannot fight. But I knew already because they, they put it on social media. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, are, were you, like, upset that you don't get to fight on the same card? Yeah, kind of. Like, you know, I would love him to um, see the see get the wing and, um, you know, share the same room and warm up together and stuff. But it didn't happen. You said you, you wanted to stay longer in Sweden. Um, why didn't you? Did you have to come here or did you have to go back? I mean, I have so much going on, you know, you know like the, our low responsibilities. I had the gym, I have a lot of people that I have to take care of, you know. And it's just like uh, things added up, you know, like it's, it's kind of like funny because um, <clears throat> I was seeing the guys that live in the gym in Sweden. They live there and yeah. uh, they just woke up and go to the gym, then the gym is in, they live inside the gym. And I was like, damn, I, I wish I could do that again, you know, like, yeah, I guess. like when I started my career, I was like, you know, wake up and train. I don't get to do that anymore because I have, I have so much going on. So, um, you know, like it, I got, I got to be jealous because of, man, <laughs> I wish I could do that again, you know. Is this something that you you might want to think of? Because I've I've heard that from people. I think Paul Felder he said that he likes the gladiator mindset, right? Where you just that's all you're thinking about, and you have really not much comfort, right? Like I it's. Wish, I wish I can do that. You know, like I wish that uh, I can, I can live in the gym. I can um, I don't have bills to pay. I don't have you know you know things like because you know like when the bill come you have to pay. <laughs> so it's a lot of stress. So I wish just. Live in the gym and it's just you know the call comes you go and fight. Yeah. Well, but since that's not possible, uh, how do you deal with that? With the balancing of everything and the stress, like what do you do to make sure that you're as focused on your fights as you need to be? Oh, uh, I try to kind of like add things together and kind of like at least um, find myself three weeks and. And so I played it, and then I was just went, and, uh, and I, at least I got a, you know, three week, three good weeks of training. This, I think, it's your first fight in Brazil, right? Yeah. Is this something that you wanted? Was it? Because I know this is kind of like a an important place for MMA, and you've done so much, and you you know you fought so many people. Was this something that you know you wanted to do before your career ended? I, I actually, I didn't honestly, uh, you know, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm here, and um, you know I, I got a lot of good people. I got a lot. Of, I know a lot of Brazilians, and um, I competed in Abu Dhabi before. Um, and I, actually, I'm right now. I've been training in uh, in uh, in the gym uh, close by here yeah. in Sao Paulo. Everyone is just helping me, and you know I feel like you know they all they all wish me like that. I you know to win, you know and. You know, like I know, like some people kind of like you know trash talk, like oh, you know, like um, you know, if you know from here, you, they hate you. But I, I haven't seen that yet. You know, okay. I, you know, I walk around and you know, even at the gym, everyone, everyone is just like 
man, good luck, man. You know, we wish you well and stuff like that. You know, so I don't, I don't, you know, I haven't seen it. Since we talked a little bit about the stress, um, you coming into this fight, we all know, is in, in a bit of a rough patch in terms of results uh, as kid. I think your biggest kid yet. Um, how do you make sure that that too does not affect you mentally or emotionally? How is your mindset going into this one off, you know, a bit of a rough patch? Well, you know, I still believe like my last fight was bullshit. Uh, yeah, a bit bullshit. Um, so I just kind of like um, put like a little bit of pressure on me now. But um, the last, the past fights, you, it kind of like you should say a lot going on. Like you know, fighting for me it was like um, it, it was like it wasn't the number one. I had so much going on that you know, I, it, fighting for me it becomes the second, the second. It wasn't the first. And you know, I'm trying to just get back in. Uh, you know. Um, be like be like I was before like you know fight is number one so for this one do you think you're able to do that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you mentioned the last result and it was a bit of a weird one it was the DQ right with with CV Dalloway and okay so how put does that way, put it this way even like even like less supposed because you know the combination the, com the combo start before the bell you know and you know I have seen like thousands you know, 10, 15 fights they happen within the UFC and all the promotions that they don't, the people don't get disqualified, the people don't even get a stop, they, they don't even get like DQ. They just allow the fighters to continue to fight and then they win, even in title fights. So, you know, I don't understand, like it was uh, a second after, you know, hitting and um, he find set, he find himself uh, CB that way. He find himself an excuse, and he you know he went from there. And then when he uh, when they told him like he couldn't win the fight, he was just like, okay, cool. I hasn't done it before. Nobody done it before. They haven't done it to anybody before. Okay. You know. How do you deal with the frustration of that? Because one thing is when you feel like you lose, right? Okay, I lost that one. That's fine. Move on to the next one. But in the case where you feel like it was unjust, was it a hard pill for you to swallow? Like, did it take you a while to, to get over that one? Yeah, of course. You know, you know who wouldn't? Um, but, you know, like, you know, since I started my career, you know, I started fighting in uh, foreign countries. You know, I started, you know, I was, I was, I was fighting, I've been fighting all my life in different countries, the countries that have never been mine. So, um, and, you know, it's being a lot of injustice. Like, uh, to one, one point, like, I was fighting in, uh, in Australia, and then this guy, uh, it was Takasi, uh, a former Pride uh, veteran. I was fighting the guy, and I started ground pound the guy, and then the referee stopped the fight and telling the guy, like, bro, cover it up. You're gonna get knocked out. I mean, like, come on, for real? You're gonna do that in the fight? And things like that, it's been happening. Like, you know, they, they get injured in the fight and then they, you know, put back the shoulder, you know, they dislocate the shoulder, they put it back the shoulder and they continue, allow the guy to continue the fight. I'm, stuff like that has been happening to me over and over. So, just kind of uh, shut up and uh, put up. Yeah, and then moving forward now, so, in, in any case, it looks like a loss in your record. And coming into this one, do you feel like, at least as far as the UFC goes, do you go into it feeling like your back is against the wall? Like, is it a do or die fight for you now? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. How much weight does that? Because, you know, sometimes that can mean pressure, but sometimes you just make your peace with it and you just go in and fight. So how are you dealing with that mentally now? Like, do you feel pressured or... I mean, you pressure know. is always good. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't have pressure before. You know, uh, you know, like I, once again, I had so much going on. Yeah. And you know, I was like, you just taking, taking, taking the as a payday. You know, it was saying like, you know, like this is what I like. You know, but um, a pressure is good. Yeah. And, but okay, so when when you know the losses start coming and you're 40 now, right? Yeah. People, I'm gonna bring up the R word, retirement. People start asking you, right, all the time, probably. Uh, do you? First of all, does it bother you that when people ask you uh, about that? And 
are you thinking about that? Like, is that even a thought in your head right now, or are you just really focused on the fight at hand? Well, you know, when when the time comes that I feel like I don't have the energy, uh, I, don't, I feel weak, I feel like uh, I don't feel strong anymore, I feel like uh, my body, you know, is not moving the, the, the way it's supposed to move. Yes, of course, I'm going to call it the day. Yeah. I feel good, you know, I, I feel strong. The age, I don't think it's, um, it's something that I have to worry about. I, I have to worry about my how my condition is, how my body is. Yeah. So right now, I still, I still strong. I still fast. So I don't, I don't think to, um, I don't think uh, on, the, um, in retirement yet. Yeah. And you, the guy you're fighting, Talis, and uh, you know, he's, uh, it's actually his last fight. Um, he's a big veteran. Obviously, everybody knows what he's really good at, and it's his jiu-jitsu. He became more well-rounded with the years, of course, but that was really his main thing. So, um, when you look at his tape, when you break him down, like, how do you feel like this matchup? Um, how do you feel like you guys match up together, and where do you see this fight going? I mean, I, I see, I think, like, um, you know, obviously, he kind of just kind of like, um, you know, try to stand up with me, and if he doesn't go well, you know, he's definitely gonna go to uh, for the second auction. Which is like any any fighter would do that. I would do that. And but um, yeah, I'm just kind of gonna um, shut him off quick and you know go from there. When they offered you his name, was it something that you were like, oh, that's good, that makes sense, or whatever? <laughs> I, I really wanted to fight in Australia, to be honest. You oh, know, really? um, they have a fight in, in Australia, and I knew they had a fight in Australia in Adelaide, I think. But. Um, it is what it is, you know, fighting here, I'm going to get the wing, and then I'll, hopefully I'll get, it, I'll get to fight in Australia. You did talk a little bit about the pressure. Um, where does a win sit in your mind right now? Is it a consequence? Is it something that, you know, or are you just, is it kind of an obsession at this point? No, no, Shaq, you know, I've never been been obsessed with anything. That's why I'm, I'm one of the happiest guys up there, because, you know, if it's because it didn't belong to me, you know, it didn't belong to me. And you have, I think that you have to take uh, life that way, you know. You cannot be, you cannot be obsessed with something that you just didn't supposed to happen, you know. I, I, I won 26 fights straight, so it was like amazing. And, and I didn't pay attention to it, and I didn't pay interest to it. And, and if I, if I would have put interest in, in, the biggest, in, in the biggest moment of my career, you know, I really, I think, I believe that I would have continued to win. But a lot of things, you know, uh, my personal life that derived me from, from that. But um, I'm good now. So what matters now, does it? So you're a happy fighter now? Yeah, I'm happy, yeah.